let's get philosophical for a second. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Let's say you bought a Suron. Congrats! After a couple days, you replace the grips. Then you upgrade the pegs. It's still a Suron, right? But you continue upgrading. Piece by piece. The brakes and wheels. Hell, even the controller and battery. At what point is it no longer a Suron? At what point do we lose ourselves? Is this a means to an end or an end to a means? I don't even know what that means. Let's push this thought experiment to the extreme, and at the end you tell me if this is still a Suron or something much, much more than a Suron. When you spend two grand on a battery, you better trust the company. I've had some sh absolutely god experiences in the past, but so far I've been nothing but impressed with Tri Batteries. They have a great reputation in the community, so let's see if the battery lives up to the hype and the cost. I don't have a knife, so I'm going to use the Saron key. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, it's a big boy. I'm trying desperately not to get these packing peanuts all over the place. <sighs> Let's go! No, 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 no. And we've also got the charger, but first things first, I want to take this battery out. I need a knife. That is beautiful. Gladiator 72 volt, 38.25 amp hour, batch Saronster. You see that? That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay, I'm gonna pop this on the charger and then first thing I need to do is add the battery latches, which are gonna be in here. Okay, that took about 10 minutes. I've got an extending linkage right here. And then I've got this beautiful extender on the other end that fills the gap really nicely. Okay, the battery is fully charged, the lid is lifted, and I am fitted in the Chai Battery merch. Let me give you a little bit of context. On the left, we've got the stock battery. We all know and love it, but after a while, you want some more power or you want some more range, and that's when you start looking at upgraded batteries. In the middle, we've got the 72 volt, 32 amp hour battery that I've been running. It's great, you get a lot of power, you get a lot of range, but we're talking about the Saronster here and it needs the best of the best. So that's why I got the Chai battery, 72 volt, 38 amp hour battery, more range than the battery I've been running, but almost the same form factor. You've got to lift the lid just a tiny bit, but I love the way that they designed it. We should be looking at a ton of range, a ton of power, and a ton of reliability, both on the battery side and the company side, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit. When you get the battery, you're obviously gonna need a charger, and I love the charger that the Chai battery comes with. It's got variable amperage, so you can decide how fast you want to charge. And my favorite feature is that it's got a dial where you can select to charge the battery up to 80, 90, or 100%. And the reason for that is that you don't always want to be charging your battery to 100%. But say you want to go to sleep and you want to leave it charging overnight. You can change this dial to say 90%, leave the battery overnight, and the charger will stop charging when the battery gets to 90%. That is an awesome feature. I'm super happy with this charger. And now it is finally time to put the battery in the bike. Let's go. Fits beautifully. That looks so good. Okay, we've got the 72 volt, 38.25 amp hour Chai battery in here, running a 72 volt tune on the Emoto Bros controller. It's the first time I've tried the battery. 
Let's make sure it turns on. Yep. I still haven't found the little screw for this, so I just let it dangle. <laughs> Here we go. Maiden voyage. So it's the same tune, different battery, so it should feel exactly the same in terms of power. At least that's what I would think. Do you guys need any help? Oh, we're good, man. Yeah, you're good? Yeah, we're gonna figure out how to make him go up. <laughs> you guys look so badass riding around like that. That's awesome. You sure you don't want to tug? You can you can hold me right here. I'll pull you right up. Uh, Let's try it. Seriously, it'll be easy. This is your mirror handle right here. All right, now you're good. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Go. Ah. No way. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> this is awesome. Let me know if you want me to upgrade these for you. I can get them up the hill easy with hey, the new motor. It, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Ready? Try battery at work, baby. Wheelie test. It wheelies. Oh, I didn't warm up my rear brake though. Ah! What's that called? It's called a Suron. It's electric. A Suron? Yeah. I saw you do that wheelie. Coming down from like uh, by mount, bottom of mountain is so powerful. Hell yeah, dude. Here, speed up a little bit. Ready? Awesome. Now, if you just wanted more range, you could go with a 60 volt battery from Chai. That way you can run it still with your stock controller, but get considerably more range. If you want more power, then you've got to go 72 volts. But you'll also need a new controller, like my uh, Emoto Bros controller. I'm personally a 72 volt s I love this shit. Hey, 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 they like it too. So I would recommend the 70 volt. This is their mid amp hour battery. They have one with a little less capacity, one with higher capacity, but it sticks up considerably. I think this is the perfect size. I'm a huge fan of it already. I noticed no weight increase from my old battery, but I'm getting probably 15, 20% more range. Range is something I'm gonna test later on in another video. When you've got a battery like this, not only does it have a ton of power, which is so fun, but it gives you so much range, especially if you ride conservatively. I could point anywhere along this mountain range and go there and back probably twice with this battery. It totally opens up a world of opportunity. You'll see the day you put this in your Suron, your world will expand, literally. You, uh, you don't want to go for a ride, do you? Is it safe? Sure, do you trust me? She's juicy. I might take back what I said earlier. This feels a little juicier already. Even with the Saroncer discount code, these batteries are premium. These are expensive batteries. And the only reason they can get away charging that kind of premium is because they actually have accountability for their batteries. When you spend a couple grand on a Chai battery, you're not just getting the battery like you do from some other companies where they just send you the battery and that's it. You get the battery and then you also get all the support and accountability 
that there should be when you're riding with a bomb between your legs. Right now, Chai Batteries is the only battery company that I can really recommend with confidence as a reliable Suron upgrade battery company because I know even if this battery breaks tomorrow that they will respond to my message and be accountable. Whereas I swear with some companies I've dealt with in the past, they give you the battery and say good luck from there. There you go. That is Chai Batteries. As far as build quality, reliability, and customer service, they are number one and the only Suron upgrade battery company that I feel comfortable and confident recommending as of this video. These are premium batteries with premium service and build quality. I'll be doing a range test in a separate video and there are discount codes down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. As I don't.